In this video, we're going to go through a simple three-step process to help you identify your early adopters for your no-code app before you even launch and to help demystify your user outreach and marketing plans in these early stages. Now, stick around until the end of this video because once you go through this three-step process, you're also going to be able to, by default, validate the niche you've chosen for your no-code app or otherwise choose the most appropriate niche for you. We help non-technical entrepreneurs build custom apps so they can launch their app-based businesses or grow their existing businesses all without coding. And if you want to learn more about that, subscribe to this channel for new videos every single week. When you are in your planning stages with your no-code app or you're in those early stages of development before you've launched, you need to start thinking about your user outreach. Now, the first launch you're going to be doing is your pilot launch. And your goal with this is really product validation. And so you want to have a group of pilot users ready to come on board as soon as your pilot app is ready to be launched so that you can start getting the feedback you need and growing your app in your business. Now, a lot of people wait to start finding their first users until after that core product is finished. But you really don't want to wait on that because ultimately you're just stalling and delaying yourself. And it's really hard to put all this energy into your development and then launch the app, but have nothing happen on the other side. And so the process that we guide our own entrepreneurs through is to start that user outreach early and to make sure you have a pool of early access users waiting as soon as your pilot app is complete. The question is, how do you find those users? Because if you're in these earlier stages pre-launch, then putting together a whole marketing plan and doing a bunch of user outreach can sound like a lot when at the same time, you're building your app and you're learning all the new skills related to that as well. So that's why we have this really simple three-step process to help you identify early access users so that you don't have to put together some complicated marketing plan and you can just more easily have those users waiting on the other side of your first launch. On my screen, you can see these three circles and these circles signify the total addressable market for your no-code app. Now, we're going to be looking at three segments of your total addressable market and talking about who you should reach out to and when, depending on what stage your app is currently in with its development and launches. So if we take your total addressable market, and this is your target market and, and everyone in it, we're going to break this down first by people who are problem aware. So there is a section or a segment rather of your total addressable market that is problem aware. That means they know that the problem your app is being built to solve exists. Now in the next segment, we're going to compare that to solution aware. There's another segment of your total addressable market that is solution aware. So not only do they know that the problem your app is being built to solve exists, they are also aware that there are solutions available to solve that problem. They may be users of certain solutions. Now, those solutions don't have to be other applications. They might be manual solutions but they're aware that there are solutions. And now the third segment of the total addressable market is the segment that is you aware. So we have people who are problem aware, people who are solution aware, and people who are you aware. Now, most people building apps themselves are generally building apps for industries in which they have some sort of knowledge or experience. Maybe they're building an app for their own business and they want to then sell it to other businesses like theirs, right? And so by default, there are going to be people in the total addressable market 
who are you aware, right? If you are building an app for your industry or for companies within your industry, you have contacts with these other companies, for example. So they are you aware. When you are preparing to launch your app, it can be easy to get into the mindset of thinking that you need to try to reach anyone and everyone you possibly can. So your first instinct might be to go after your total addressable market. But in reality, when you're going through your pilot launch or you're preparing for your pilot launch, you really want to go after those lowest hanging fruit potential users as you possibly can, because your pilot launch is all about early traction. You're launching a pilot app in order to validate your product, right? get the feedback that you need, and then start to scale up, start to expand it, roll it out to the next segment of the market and, and focus on growth. So that, that very initial launch, it needs to be very low hanging fruit, less scalable, less automated, right? And so the very first segment of your target market that you want to look to when aiming for your pilot launch are, or is the segment that is you aware. So not problem aware, not solution aware, but you aware. So that means that your first user acquisition channel, the, the uh, platform, the channel that you are using to find your initial users should be ideally your immediate contacts people you know, or people you have connections to in some way, or people who you have really easy access to, maybe groups you're in, communities you're in, other businesses you're associated with, whatever that might look like for you, you wanna be reaching out to the people who are you aware. That means they've already checked these boxes. They're already problem aware, they're already solution aware, and they are you aware. The problem with going after those problem aware or solution aware segments really early on is generally there is going to be more heavier marketing involved and necessary to reach those segments and to really convert them. For example, if you're going after a segment of your target market that is only problem aware, that means that you have to go through the process of teaching them that solutions even exist and what those solutions should look like and how they should choose those solutions. And that's a whole other side of marketing. And early on, when you're going for quick traction and low hanging fruit, that's really the opposite. It's not low hanging fruit at all. You can get there, but you need to start simpler in the beginning. Then you're gonna to start to expand. So with your pilot launch, you're getting feedback to val validate your product and see how and if it's going to function at scale. Right, so then your next step is to start to work up to that scale. So what you want to do is roll your app out to a broader market. So then you're going to start looking to people who are solution aware. Okay, so this is when you are kind of starting to roll out the app. That doesn't mean you should stop going after the you aware segment of your target market. That should already be there and you should already have channels, methods in place for reaching out to people who are already you aware, but you're expanding to those solution aware people. So once you are focusing on the goal of product adoption, product expansion, product, um, you know, improving user experience versus just that initial product validation, that's when you start to look for people who are solution aware. Once you have started to expand within these circles and you are addressing the you aware segment of your total addressable market, you are addressing the solution aware segment. Well, then the next step is really when you're focusing on scale. And that is when you start to expand out to the problem aware segment of that total addressable market. So again, those problem aware potential users are people who understand the problem your app is solving, but they're in a much earlier stage in the process, right? They, they don't know the, that solutions are out there. They certainly don't know how to compare solutions or what they should even be looking for. They definitely don't know about you yet, 
but they know the problem. And that means that they're not low hanging fruit by any means. They're the fruit that's much higher up in the tree that you can still get to, but you need to you know, scale that ladder way up in order to climb up and reach them. Now that you understand the progression of outreach, this next part is really, really important because the reality is you're not just going to work your way up and out within this circular model, you're really gonna work your way up and out and then back down. Here's what I mean. You are starting right down here with your pilot launch. As you go through your pilot launch and you roll out your app to the wider market and then you work your way up to start really scaling, you are working your way right up and out through these circles so that you can address that total addressable market. What's really cool is once you've made your way out to this circle here and you have marketing tactics and strategies in place to where you are effectively reaching that segment of your target market that is just problem aware, right? So you're really introducing them into the potential solutions that they could use, right? They don't even know about you yet, maybe, but maybe you have marketing out there that people are seeing even before they know about you, right? So this is kind of the opposite, right? Initially, people know about you first, but then you get to the point where people don't even know you, but they're finding your marketing or they're they're becoming aware of solutions because of marketing that you are doing, right? Then you can start to work your way back down. And this is what we're going to call growth marketing over here. So with growth marketing, what you're doing is kind of working your way back down. So you've established this base, right? By going through those initial launches and the expansion with your app, and you've created this foundation. You've created really an authority within your market. And now you can take those people who are problem aware and you can start teaching them about the solutions that are available. You can make them solution aware. And then you can start teaching them about you and your solution and why your solution is right for them, right? So you're starting down here with your pilot launch. This is your start line. Work your way up. And then once you've created that foundation and you've started to scale your app and your business, then you can come back down and you can take that total addressable market that you're now present within and you can bring them back to you. At the start of this video, I talked about how this model or this three-step process would help you either validate the niche you've chosen for your no-code app or help you better understand which niche you should be going after. And that's what we're going to get to now because you might be wondering how all of this connects. Going back to our starting line down here, right? reaching out to the segment of your total addressable market that is you aware. If you don't have anybody that is you aware, if there is no segment of that total addressable market that knows about you, then I want you to question why you are choosing this problem to solve with your app like, why are you building this solution? What do you have to do with it? If there is absolutely nobody that is you aware, then you have to question whether you are building the right app. Because if nobody is you aware, I'm talking nobody, no businesses, no people within groups or communities, nobody, then what experience do you have with that problem? What knowledge do you have about it? What understanding do you have of the processes, of the problems that people go through when dealing with this problem, of bottlenecks, of inefficiencies, of you know, pain points? What knowledge and understanding do you have of that? If you don't have any 
expertise or experience with this, then you are going to struggle, right? You learn a lot when you go after those you aware early access people. And just like you're launching your pilot app to them to get feedback and validation, you're also launching your very early messaging and marketing to them to get feedback and validation. So you can then tweak that just like you're going to tweak your app and you can roll it out to the wider market and then the wider market from there. That's how all of this works. So if you struggle to work your way through this model and to identify anybody who is you aware, then I want you to hit the brakes for a moment and really think about what you are bringing to the table in building this app and why you're building it in the first place. If you can dig into that and identify that and identify those you aware people within that segment of your target market, then you can have success with that early launch and you can get the validation you need to then go into that scale stage later on. For any of this to work, you have to be building the right no-code app and building it correctly as you go, because these things, this early user outreach and the initial app development, they happen together. And so if you wanna make sure that you are starting out correctly or heading in the right direction, if you've already started the development of your no-code app, head to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop. We have a free extended workshop and training that you can go through to make sure that you are strategically building the correct app and ultimately launching that pilot version so you can start to scale. So head to coachingnocodeapps.com forward slash workshop to join in on that. Give this video a like if you found it valuable. It helps us help even more people build their no-code apps and launch or scale their businesses. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.